Hello everyone, I bet 99% of you after watching this video won't be able to resist the allure of American apples. But not this apple, but this apple. Every year Americans consume about 19.6 pounds of fresh apples per person, making apples the second most popular fruit in the US, right after bananas. More than 50% of apples grown in the US are used to produce apple juice and other apple products. Apple juice is one of the most popular fruit juices in the US. The American apple industry is worth up to $3 billion annually, including fresh apples and apple products such as juice, jam, and cider. So, what makes apple juice so special? Let's explore this video with Captain Discovery. Subscribe now and join Captain Discovery's journey. Apple juice has a grand history. So, where did it all begin? In ancient scriptures and legends, apples were often mentioned as symbols of vitality and health. Thousands of years ago, people knew how to use apples to create nutritious and delicious drinks. In medieval times, apple orchards were integral to castles and agricultural estates. Winemakers also began using apples to create unique wines and ciders. Apple juice was used as a refreshing and nutritious drink especially in the healthcare menus of nobles and kings. In the 20th century, with the development of food processing technology, industrial apple juice began to appear and became more popular than ever. Fruit juice companies sprang up and apple juice became an important part of the daily menu for many families around the world. What about the story of Johnny Appleseed, the famous character in American apple history? Born in 1774 in Massachusetts, Johnny Appleseed became one of the first apple growers in the western U.S. Chapman lived a simple life, moving from place to place, carrying a bag of apple seeds and planting them all over the western U.S. According to legend, Johnny Appleseed traveled hundreds of miles through Ohio, Indiana, and Illinois, planting thousands of apple trees in the wild, laying the foundation for apple farming in the region. So. How does the apple juice production process work? Have you ever seen in sci-fi movies where robots can do everything for humans? That has become a reality. Today, apple-picking robots have been developed, solving three major issues, labor shortages, rising production costs, and the demand for sustainable practices. Apple-picking robots with advanced sensors and AI can recognize colors to determine the ripeness of the fruit. They navigate between apple trees and only pick fruits that meet standards for size and color. The robot arms gently pick each fruit and place them in baskets, minimizing bruising and post-harvest losses. An apple-picking robot can work like dozens of people, operating continuously even at night. This helps speed up the harvest and ensures apples are picked at their peak ripeness.
What happens after the apples are harvested? After being harvested, apples are brought to the factory and processed with 24 hours to maintain freshness. At the factory, apples are dumped into an automatic washing system. A loader dumps apples into a water channel to float the apples and remove dirt with a brush. Apples are washed not only with clean water, but also with sterilizing solutions to ensure hygiene before being turned into juice. The apples line up on conveyor belts, creating a magnificent scene like a giant waterfall. After being washed, apples go through inspection and sorting. The sorting machine with a capacity of 50 tons per hour takes about 40 infrared photos of each apple to determine internal quality, such as sugar content and cracks. This system can sort 3 million apples per day.
after being washed and sorted. What process do they undergo next? Once clean and sorted, apples are taken to the crusher. The crusher can process hundreds of tons of apples per hour, turning fresh apples into fine apple pulp. The pulp is then transferred to the press. The hydraulic press can generate up to 4,000 psi pressure, efficiently extracting juice. An interesting fact is that from each ton of apples, about 700 to 800 liters of juice can be extracted, enough to fill around 2,000 bottles of apple juice. But do you think that's the end? There's one more very important step before apple juice reaches consumers. Extracted juice still contains many solids and needs to be clarified to achieve a clear appearance. The filtering process uses high-speed centrifugation to remove small particles, after which the juice is sent to the pasteurization system. In this process, the juice is heated to about 85 to 90 degrees Celsius for a few seconds to kill bacteria without losing its natural flavor. According to research, pasteurization extends the shelf life of juice up to one year without preservatives. After pasteurization, how is the juice packaged to ensure quality? Filling is a very important step in the apple juice production process. Pasteurized juice is sent to an automatic filling system. Imagine golden streams of juice continuously flow into each bottle perfectly. The filling system uses sterile technology to ensure the juice is not contaminated during packaging. Machines automatically check each bottle to ensure every bottle is filled and free of air. After filling, the bottles are capped and labeled. An interesting fact is that modern filling systems can package up to 50,000 bottles of juice per hour, equivalent to packaging over 800 bottles per minute, faster than you can read this paragraph. Packaging not only protects the juice from light and air, but also helps maintain its quality over time. The bottles are designed to be eye-catching to consumers while ensuring the fresh taste of apples. What do apple juice factories do to protect the environment? Apple juice factories apply many environmental protection measures, such as treating and reusing water, energy-saving equipment, and renewable energy. They minimize and recycle waste, use recyclable or biodegradable packaging, optimize transportation to reduce carbon emissions, and plant trees. Conservation programs in apple growing regions support for sustainable farming and raising environmental awareness are also implemented, contributing to the sustainable development of the apple juice industry.
Thanks for exploring the apple juice production process with us. Enjoy exploring factory production with us? Like, share, and subscribe to Captain Discovery for more fascinating insights into manufacturing.